Hey, what's up everyone, Epithemy here, and for today's video, I am doing something I've never done before, and that is a mouse review. The mouse I am reviewing today, and that you see on screen, is the Easy SMX BD2428 GML Gaming Mouse. I want to put it out there that I was sent this mouse for free to do a review, but that does not mean this won't be a genuine review. I'm not being paid to say anything specific or anything along those lines. I was only sent the mouse. Now, with that out of the way, I want to go over the mouse. I want to give a rundown of the product specs first, then go over the good and bad of the mouse. So first off, this mouse does go up to 8200 DPI. It has seven buttons, including the two side buttons, two buttons on the left mouse button, and a DPI changer. For the DPI presets, when the mouse is lit up green, that equals 400 DPI. When it is red, it is 1600 DPI. When it is orange, it is at 5200 dpi and blue is 8200 dpi the mouse is a little bit on the heavier side because it is on the bigger side as well and you can all see the difference between my hand and the mouse it does fit to my hand really well the mouse also comes with some added weights that you can throw in it to make it heavier but i personally like lighter mice so i left that out now, I want to go over my opinions of the mouse. I want to start with the pros. It is comfortable. I enjoy the grip. It does provide on the side. It's really sticky and everything like that, and it doesn't make your hand get sweaty or anything. I also enjoy the clicking of the buttons and the scroll of the mouse wheel. They all feel really nice and durable, not cheap and plasticky. The overall build quality is very sturdy. Nothing feels cheap by any means about the mouse. When you pick it up and everything, it does have some weight to it because of the build quality. Now for the cons. The first and really only thing I personally don't like about the mouse is the DPI presets because they are presets and it's not fully customizable as DPI but it does give you the main DPI at 400 that many people use and also the DPI is not true. I always use 400 DPI on any mouse I've used previously like the Razer Death Adder and the Logitech G303 and the 400 DPI preset for this mouse feels around 500 to 600 DPI. So as you know, you guys see the gameplay in the background a little bit um, from me using this mouse I had to actually change my sensitivity a lot to find something similar to what I've already been using And for the final con I'd actually say the price point even though nothing about this mouse feels cheap And it is a good quality mouse There are other name brand mice you can get for paying maybe 15 to 20 dollars more But if you can't afford it, then this is definitely the best alternative Especially if you're looking for kind of an interesting level gaming mouse the price currently is 37.99 usd so overall other than the dpi not being true there's nothing else i personally don't like about it it doesn't feel cheap in any manner and is very comfortable to use for a long period of time the price point for the mouse as i said before is currently the 37.99 usd i think the price point is a little high because of the fact that you can pay 15 20 dollars more for a name brand mouse such as a death adder or a g303 but if you can't afford a name brand mouse or you're looking for a good entry level mouse for gaming, then I'd definitely go for this one. But that's my overall opinion. I'll put the link for the mouse down in the description below. And I hope you all enjoyed this video. Thank you again to Easy SMX for sending this mouse for a review. But my name is Epithemy, and I'll catch you all next time.